Hi, welcome to eTuitionForYou.com. In this video, we will discuss something on C1 that is Core 1 Math Paper for AS Level students. Now, logarithm is an important topic in C1 paper, so let's see something on logarithms. See some of the useful properties that you will need to remember to solve any question on logarithms are these three. See, what does the first one say? If you have something like log m times n, you distribute this log over m and n and you add these two. Right? The second property says, if you have to find log of m divided by n, again you distribute log over m and n and you subtract these two. The third property reads log m to the power a. Now what do you do with this power or this exponent a? You can bring it outside the log. So it becomes a times log m. Right? Now let's see where all we can use these properties to solve what all question. Let's say if you have a question like log 8 plus log 5. This is given to be equal to log x. We can choose any base. Let's say the base is 2. Okay. So how do we find the value of x? Which property do you think we can use here? See property 1. Log is being distributed over 8 and 5 and these two are getting added. So can we write this as equal to log of 8 times 5? We can. Okay. So this becomes log of 40 to the base 2 is equal to log x. So comparing these two, we get x is equal to 40. Right? Okay, let's take another question. Let's say we have this time log 100 to the base 10. Let's say minus log 50 to the base 10. This is given to be equal to log p. Okay? To the base 10 again. Now, see this side of the equation. Log is distributed over 150 and these two are being subtracted. So can we write it as log of 100 over 50 to the base 10? Yes, we can. So 10, 100 over 50 is what? 2. So this is equal to log of 2 to the base 10. Compare these two. P comes out to be equal to 2. Right? Okay, great. Okay, let's say now we have another question. Log 10 to the power 2 to the base 10. We have to find the value of this. So what do we do with this power? We can bring it outside log. So we can write it as 2 log 10 to the base 10. Now what is log 10 to the base 10? See, we know log of any number to the same base is always 1. So this is 2 times 1 which is 2. Okay, simple? Great. Okay, now let's take another question. Let's say we have log x minus log 2 is equal to 3. The base is 10. Now see, what, do we, what can we do for this? See, we can write this side as log x over 2. to the base 10 this is equal to 3 now how do we find x from here see how do we get rid of log see if you have to get rid of this log what you do is you just switch the positions of 3 and x over 2 so you can think of it as 10 in place of x over 2 you write 3 in place of 3 you write x over 2 so what value of x do you get from here 2 times 10 to the power 3 that is 2000 right Okay, this is all we have on logs. Okay, I hope this will be very useful for you in C1 paper. And we'll discuss more on C C1, C2, C3, C4, S1, S2 and M1 paper in live online tutoring. Okay, best of luck for your exam then. See you later. Bye. Take care.